Yeah, that's a good question. Um, just, you know, because people say larger than life, and I try and... Uh, I didn't really see him like that. Just see him as who he is, you know. I guess I'll leave that for other people to say he's larger than life, or he's this or he's that, because... Um, Sam probably doesn't think he's larger than life. <laughs> Sam just thinks he's Sam. So, <clears throat> but <clears throat> you just, I, I, I spend as much time with him just looking at him, studying him, evaluating him, and then also just trying to almost take it in by osmosis. Like I would literally walk around imagining myself to be him and just getting that swagger and getting that, you know. I would listen to him all the time. Like literally, I have thousands of interviews of Sam Childers talking about everything, and I would just hear him playing in the background. So I would always have this visual image of him, um, you know. And then between that and reading the book and any footage that you had of TV interviews or footage of him on site, um, so so you take all that. But then, and that's where the good question comes in, because at some point you have to go away from that and say, okay, I'm going to use that and fly with that but I'm not gonna let it bog me down. You then have to, I'm not playing Hitler, JFK or somebody where people go, wait a minute, wait a minute. His mustache was half an inch more on your side. You, know? um, it's, you then gotta, you know, just you apply it to our script, our movie. And, um, and, and I get into a scene and I start working with, you know, Michelle and, you know, and then it's the true drama that comes out of that. Um, and there just came a point in this movie more than any other where I really felt that I did a lot of work, you know, all, all kinds of preparation and studying and, and work, even working on the script for almost a year before we started. And that helps me no end. Um, but then there comes a point where you just let it all go and you just fly, fly with it. And I, that's what I really felt with this was just kind of, was just jumping off on the right, you know. There are some in the religious community that, that feel that uh, is not the way to meet violence with other violence. How, how do you feel about that? Um, again, you know, when, when you talk about Sam's bigger than life, it's um, I'm playing the role, you know. I'm, I'm, for a start, it's lethal for me to judge a character when I go in. Sam is Sam's doing what he does, you know. He's he's. Um, He's out there when he's drinking, he's drinking. He's not going, I'm a drunk. You know, when he's, when he's converting, he's finding God, you know, he's, um, and then when he's out there fighting, he's just doing, he's just doing what he does. If I start questioning the ethics of that, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna help me any in, in um, approaching the character. I, when, when you then go on to that question, now that I can look back, one, there's no easy answer to that. I cannot, I cannot, I have no doubt that there's a lot of controversy behind Sam and what he does. I understand that completely. I kind of love that as well. I love that it brings up so much heated discussion as to how to deal with this. But if you've watched the movie, there's one thing that I think is really interesting is at the end when he says, you know, if your wife, if your, if your daughter, your son, or family member was taken by a terrorist, and I told you I could get him back, you know, would you care how I did it? To, to be honest, that's your answer right there. there there's, we're not living, you're asking that question as an American citizen sitting here, you know, in, 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 in Texas. It's a very different world out there. Um, what, if you know anything about the Lord's Resistance Army, they truly have no function, no political agenda, except to go in and kill people. They go in, they cut people up, they burn people to death, they force kids to kill other kids, ritualize killings, they rape the children. This is one of the things that as I learned, as I studied this, I kept thinking, surely I'm going to find something that they do. Maybe, you know, they give something to the community. They, they don't, you know, they kidnap children, they wipe out villages, they, that's, that's all they do. In a situation like that, when I hear that question, I go, okay, that's a fair point. In a world, it makes sense, but that world doesn't make so much sense. And, and therefore, I kind of think, 
what, what, if Sam hadn't existed, or, or if Sam had listened to that question that you asked, then 1,000 children would be dead. And for the last 20 years, 1,500 kids a day would not have been fed. So that's, that's the other way, to, to, to almost to, to analyze it from the converse. But the other side, you know, gives me my answer. Did this role make you, or I don't even know if you're leaning towards it or not, <coughs> did you feel led in a certain direction as far as religiously by him? Did it, did it have an effect on your life personally, his religious, you know, leanings, I guess? No, um, I'm, uh, um, affected, yes, changed. I don't know if I was if I was changed. You know, I think I was I was born Catholic, grew up Catholic, practicing Catholic. Um, I've always tried to stay spiritual. I've had my many spiritual quests out to India and back, and 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 kind of form my own spiritual path to the extent that um, I'd say now I'm more religious than spirit, I'm more spiritual than religious, but. I still have a strong draw towards religion. So when I see this movie being made and the power that religion had in his life, although really, what, is it religion or is it God? You know, right. Right. you know, it's it's God really that 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 drives him. Then I love those kind of stories because I do believe in that and the power of faith and the power of of belief purpose and then um, um, so it's one of the things that gave me a greater desire to sell the story and that and that when you come out the other side you feel more backed up by those kind of laws you know how did you prepare yourself for that conversion scene um,